friends, Nurse Mary here again. I hope everyone is keeping healthy and safe at home. I miss seeing your smiling faces. Recently, I know all of your teachers have been talking to you about the importance of exercise and keeping your body healthy. So with that in mind, today I've chosen a book that I would like to read to you. Ready? Read, read, read a book, we are getting smart. Here are the pictures, here are the words. Now we're ready to start. Okay, the name of the book that I've chosen is Players and Pigtails. And it's authored or written by Shana Corey. And illustrated, or the pictures have drawn by, Rebecca Gibbons. Katie Casey wasn't good at being a girl. At least, not the kind of girl everyone thought she should be. Her clothing was crumpled, her knitting was knotted, her dancing was disastrous. No matter how hard she tried, her heart just wasn't into home ec. But there was one thing that Katie was good at, baseball. Katie could catch any ball with any mitt with her eyes closed. She could hit any ball with any bat, one hand tied behind her back. She preferred sliding to sewing and batting to baking and home runs to homecoming. Her parents were not at all pleased. Why not piano or painting, they pleaded. But Katie wouldn't be swayed. She walked baseball. She talked baseball. She even dreamed baseball. She went to the ballpark every chance she got. She loved the hot dogs and peanuts. She loved the shouting and the singing. But most of all, she loved watching the professional players play ball. Sometimes she would even imagine she was one of them. Every spring, she showed up for the Fairfield High team tryouts. Every spring, she was turned away without even giving a try. Better stick to ballet, they said. What good is baseball to a girl? But baseball was starting to change. America was at war and more and more of the country's boys, including the professional baseball players, were off to fight. The fields were almost empty and the fans were getting frantic. Even President Roosevelt was worried. What is a country without a national pastime? No one wanted to find out. Finally, Philip Wrigley, the owner of the Chicago clubs, had an idea. If women can work in factories and even join the army, he said, why can't they play ball? Outrageous, everyone said. Girls playing baseball? No one will pay to see girls play ball. But Mr. Wrigley didn't listen. He went out, he, I'm sorry, he sent out 30 scouts to find players for his league. The first and only girls professional baseball league. The scouts searched high and low, near and far. To be perfectly frank, they were flabbergasted about what they found. All over the country, girls were playing ball. They were playing ball just as good as boys. In Washington, Texas, California, 
New York, Louisiana, Florida, all of the states in our country, girls are playing ball. One of them was Katie Casey. Say sister, said a scout, when he saw her purple. How would you like to go to Chicago and try out for a real team? Would she? Katie didn't even have to think twice. She went straight home, packed her bags, kissed her parents goodbye, and boarded the very next train. When she got to Wrigley Field, she broke into a big grin. There were hundreds of girls. There were farm girls and city girls and tall girls and short girls, girls from far away and girls from down the block. No matter what they look like or where they came from, they all had one thing in common. They all loved baseball. Katie had never felt so at home. Sign her up, said the coach of the Keshua Comets when he saw her swing. The All-American Girls Professional Basketball League was on its way. Everyone was curious about the strange happenings at Wrigley Field. Unheard of, said one concerned citizen. Girls don't like sports. It's certainly not ladylike, agreed another. What good is baseball to a girl, blared the newspaper headlines. The league managers heard the talk and their stomachs started to twitch. They knew the girls were ready to play ball, but maybe the country wasn't quite ready for the girls. The managers decided to launch an emergency campaign to show the country just how ladylike baseball could be. First, they designed special uniforms for the girls to wear. Dresses, said Katie, but she shrugged and put one on. After all, at least she was getting to play ball. Then the manager signed the teams up for charm school. Pinkies out. Posture, cried the teacher, think swans. Finally, it was time for the big test. The girls were graceful. They were elegant. They were perfectly charming. And they were ready to play ball. On opening day, 16 swan-like players emerged from each locker room onto the field, but something wasn't quite right. Katie heard giggling from the stands. It grew louder and louder. Careful, you might break a nail, someone shouted. Players in pigtails roared the crowd. Is this a ballpark or a ballroom? Everyone laughed silly until the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League started to play. And they played by far the best ball any of them had ever played. By the bottom of the ninth, the score was Rockfail, Rockford Peaches 9, Keshua Comets 6. The bases were loaded and Katie Casey was at bat for the Comets. Mm, what do you think happens? She stepped up to the plate and looked out at the stands. She had been waiting her whole life for this. The pitcher threw the ball and Katie swung. Crack! The ball sailed up, up, up into the air. And Katie took off running. It's a grand slam home run, shouted the announcer. The crowd went wild and Katie cheered right along with them because for once, no one was asking what good baseball was to a girl. They were all too busy talking about how good girls were for baseball. The end. I hope you all enjoyed this story. And I know right now you cannot go out and play baseball on a team or with your friends like you normally would like to do, but maybe you can make a team at home with your brothers and sisters or parents, anyone that you live with. 
I will be back later next week. I'm going to be working on a video on exercise. We're going to do an exercise lesson and I'm going to post that next week. So be looking forward to it. Everyone stay well and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.